Howdy guys and gals, I'm the Social Regressive and I'm out here on the range to revisit the egg challenge. And I have a couple things going for me today. First off, I'm shooting a Savage Stealth Evolution. This is the brand new model, it just came out like a month ago or so. Uh, you can see that it is a thing of beauty, uh, just the, the way that this metal chassis looks with all of its kind of rakish angles. Uh, it really is just gorgeous. It has all kinds of really neat parts that you can configure to fit yourself, your own individual body. Uh, great trigger as usual, AccuTrigger, two pounds. Uh, nice smooth action. And we have this uh, Horus, or this is a, a Bushnell HDMR2 scope with a Horus reticle. Uh, this is a, an H59 reticle in here. Uh, wonderful reticle. The total setup, this is a lot like what I did with the GRS last time. If you want to see that egg challenge, you can go back and check that out. Uh, I was able to hit four out of six eggs at 300 yards, and that was just single shots at those. I wasn't able to do any retakes. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. I am running suppressed today. I have a YHM titanium sil uh, silencer out here. The ammunition that I'll be shooting is uh, American Eagle 140 grain open tip match. This stuff has run really well in the GRS and in this rifle, uh, so I'm expecting good things today. Um, <clears throat> it has a yeah 140 grain bullet. These things are really long, and they uh, they just seem to work really well. They're very accurate. Good stuff. Now, I did make a mistake today. I did not actually bring the eggs. I totally forgot. I brought the targets, brought all kinds of stuff. And uh, I did, however, bring these, which are supposedly, according to the box, as fragile as eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these out, not at 300 yards, I'm gonna put these at 650 yards, and I'm gonna try to tag these. Now, also kind of working against me today, it is quite cold. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, well below freezing. Uh, so I'm going to be shooting with some thick gloves perhaps, I might take it off just for the shooting. But uh, there is a little bit of wind today, it started out a little rough, but actually it's not too shabby right now. Uh, so yeah, overall it's going, to be a, it's going to be a real challenge, but I think I can do this. I have five shots to make this happen. I'm going to go ahead and load my magazine up though, because uh, I'm going to take some cider shots too. I have a couple of steel plates out there covered in white paint and hopefully uh, even at this distance I'll be able to see my hits see how close I'm getting once I feel good about it I'll go ahead and start shooting for record Elevation's good. Wow. Okay, there's a lot more wind out there than it looks. Okay. I gave it a full milliradian of wind. That's looking pretty good. Let's come up about 0.2. Okay, that's the sort of shot I'm going to need. And here's the tough part. Wind indicators are very, very low today. I have flags over here to my side. They're not telling me much. I've got a ribbon, a pink ribbon way out there. And really the grass isn't moving because it's all brown and dead. And uh, there's really just no mirage. There's just not any sunlight out today. <clears throat> so you don't get that temperature differential. But here we go. Here goes shot number one. Okay, shot number one, looks like it came in slightly low. Whoa, that jumped way up there. All 
All right, I got one. Oh, that was just slightly left. The wind must have died down on me. I didn't make it. I only got one out of the five. It's a pretty tough shot. But I do have some more ammo. So let's just go back and see if we can pick up a couple more of these things. Except for that one that went really high. These have all been really close. Close misses. It's really just a matter of windage. But that's the, uh, the big problem. You really just can't see wind today. Next time I'll have to bring out some little flags or something so I can see what's going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, Red Castle guys, I will clean up everything. I know I'm not supposed to be shooting these out here, but uh, I'll pick up all the pieces, I promise. I have a little baggie out there. Oh! The wind had died down a, a little bit. I can see a little bit of mirage out there. Just a tiny bit. But it's very difficult to read. I hit some, oh, I think I hit it. I can't be sure, something kind of made some dust. But I think I might have hit it. We'll move on to the next one just in case. Ooh, I'm not sure where that one went. Let's go send a search party. Hmm. A bit of ground is just absorbing them. Can't see what's going on. There we go. <laughs> I sure hope all the animals are picking this up because this is really fun. Ooh. Ooh. I thought I was seeing the same amount of wind. I just realized where the mirage is coming from too. And it's not from the ground. <laughs> it's from my from my barrel. I feel kind of silly. Um, so I'm trying to use that to read wind. Uh, let me see if I can find something else. Ew. Okay, the wind has died out there. Oh, that was right behind it. Nope. Wind kicked up just a little bit. Oh no, I do have one left. I have one shot left. Come on, let's do it. Ah. Just a little too much wind. All right, here we go. 
There's target number one. It looks like I did indeed hit that on my uh, second string, the second time I took a shot at that. Uh, so that's good to know. And this one is totally clean. Sad, one of these survived. Here you go, I did clean up. Well, thanks for watching me sling some lead. That was a lot of fun, even if I didn't, you know, really meet the challenge that first time out. Uh, it is quite difficult to hit something that's roughly the size of your palm at, uh, at 650 yards. Uh, you can see that I did get one on that first try. I'll go back and review the footage. Maybe I nicked another one, but uh, I'm pretty sure that I just hit the one. But uh, yeah, it was still a lot of fun, even though I didn't really uh, nail these things down until I went back and took those extra shots. Uh, the extra ones were fun, though. It's nice to see these things blow up. And those use those uh, Champion Duraceal uh, target holders that I uh, demonstrated in a previous video. Make sure you go check that thing out. Uh, so yeah, a lot of fun today, good shooting. Uh, and just, you know, talking about the rifle, I'm gonna do a full review on this thing later, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit some of the high points now. First off, the thing is like a laser. I'm shooting, you know, factory ammunition that, you know, American Eagle, it, you know, it tends to be kind of on the cheaper side. I've always had really good luck with American Eagle. I think this stuff is great. But uh, yeah, the 6.5 Creedmoor and this stuff, it shoots very precisely. Uh, I'm gonna have to shoot some, some actual paper groups to show you what those things look like. I don't know, I just get so bored with paper. I wanna go shoot stuff like clay pigeons and steel and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, ergonomics are wonderful. Uh, the balance of the thing is actually something that I was really surprised by. If you wanna you know, carry this rifle around, there's just a neat little handhold right here. And yeah, this sucker is balanced. You have the uh, the wonderful Magpul PRS Gen 3 stock back here. I do have this thing adjusted for cant. I have this thing kind of raised up a good bit so that it uh, kind of fits me a lot better. 14 and a half inch length of pull for me right now. Jeek riser all the way up and uh, the HDMR2 that I discussed before. Uh, this scope is just fabulous. I love this thing. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to check out the XRS2 coming out. Uh, it's, it's a new scope, but they're going to be coming out with one that has a Tremor 3 reticle, very similar to this. And I hope to be doing a full review on that pretty soon as well. Uh, but yeah, everything went very well today. I had a, a, a great time with some good friends. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys around. I love Red Castle. Do you see the berm behind those deer? Yeah, that's where my gun is, back on the 600 yard line. I love that they have all these moving targets. I mean, uh, it's cool to see wildlife. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.